Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey everyone and welcome back to Her Lovely Plan. To all of my new viewers, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you decide to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you never miss a new video or my Sunday live streams. And welcome back to all of my subscribers that's been rocking with me since 2018. So we are here today to do my first plan with me in my classic vertical planner. Now, just a little history. Um, when I first started this whole decorative creative planning um, style back in 2018, which was so long ago, um, but I was using, after I left Erin Condren, I was using a vertical classic planner and I was planning a lot in it and I enjoyed it. But as um, I grew in my planner style and kind of started um, getting more involved in the community, I started to find out about different types of planners and then I started to want to do more content related videos and plan with me's. So I kind of left the vertical classic to the side and started doing my minis um, and then I started using a teacher planner. So with all of that being said, this classic planner was initially intended to be my catch all business and social media planner. However, I have since added a B6 Traveler's Notebook to the lineup that will be used as my social media planner strictly really for Her Lovely Plan because Her Lovely Plan has grown thanks to you guys in ways that I never imagined or even planned. Um, it was an unexpected plan for me to become a content creator on YouTube in reference to my Her Lovely Plan Instagram page because that's where I started out. Um, so the B6 is strictly Her Lovely Plan YouTube social media planner. This is my business and my ministry planner. So I have a business, a small business. I'm a hairstylist. So I will be managing everything hair couture salon in here. As well, I have a ministry website in which I have a podcast that I run daily. Well, I don't do the podcast daily, but I have a podcast and I'm constantly adding content to my website that I've relaunched. So I want to be able to manage that. And then as well, the social media accounts for those two. So this is going to work out perfectly. Um, and I'm excited to jump right on in. So I'm not going to keep talking. I know y'all came here to see me plan in my classic vertical happy planner. So stick around.
Okay, you guys, so I am finished my first spread in my 2019 Vertical Classic Happy Planner. And this planner, um, I don't know if I mentioned in my planner lineup, this is the Geo Dreams one. Um, the one with the pretty blues, pinks, and um, gray. This is the closest neutral planner that I could find because I, I'm really, I just give me black lines kind of girl because black goes with anything. And if I needed to put washi over top of the lines, I could do that. Um, so just to kind of talk about the busyness that's going on here. Of course, it's New Year, so you got to make it like all about the flashing lights you know what I'm saying so uh what I might go back and do is cut this part out because I don't like now that I can see that line through here so you might on the photo see this part just a little bit different because I don't like the background of this sticker through that sticker but anyway nevertheless um this is my social media not my social media my business and ministry planner so I wanted to definitely make sure it was really functional and that um, I wanted to fill it up as much as possible because a lot of the stuff that I need to write in is not gonna fill all the boxes, but um, I wanted to still leave some extra white space in the event I needed to go back in and add anything that didn't fit in the boxes. So basically on this side, um, I have the three boxes here to represent what this planner is for, hair couture, her testimony, and social media and it's the social media only for these two businesses and what well, business in the ministry and since new year's eve was monday and well it, you know what i'm saying it was monday once you see the video <laughs> but yeah so i really didn't have much to do um so that's why i kind of just went all ham eggs and bacon with the deco um on tuesday I'm going to start, even though it's New Year's Day, I still got things that I need to do for um, the website, for the business, and for the ministry. I think I want to keep this middle section for social media just because it kind of balances it out and I can have more fun with this section um, because most of the time all I'm doing on social media is just posting pictures or posting um, whatever I need to post in reminders of like for the ministry about scriptures or for the business if there's any appointments. So I don't do a whole lot of posting. Therefore, I don't need a lot of space in that middle part. And then these are the actual functioning sections that I'll be using. So I'm pretty stoked about this. I love the little pop of pink. Um, the only reason I decided to use this pink sticker because it was in that section of the seasonal sticker book. And then I use this sticker from the Girl Boss with the Boss Babe new sticker book. And I just tied in some little pink um, flags and little triangle icon stickers here. It's really celebratory. And it's almost like riding a bike. Even though I kind of was like nervous because I'm like, I'm so used to the teacher planner and I'm used to the mini. I just wanted, I just need to, you know, make sure I find my little my stride and I think halfway through I started f feeling my stride once I started laying down the washi and everything so anyway with that being said this is my setup in my 2019 classic vertical happy planner I know y'all guys were worried with all these TNs like is she leaving happy planner alone only one that I'm trying to figure out how I will incorporate back into my lineup is my mini budget um, I do have the mom life layout in there in which I did play around with. So I think I kind of know how I can decorate it. Um, and I definitely want to make sure that I include that in my round of videos. So it won't be in this week's video. Maybe next week. We'll see. But you're definitely going to be getting classic plan with me's in my business planner, my faith planner will be every now and again, and my traveler's notebooks. So it's gonna be a lot of variety for you guys. I hope that y'all are enjoying all this new content that I'm um, bringing to you all. And again, if there's anything specific that you want me to add to my videos um, during the week, let me know. Um, I try to 
make sure that this channel isn't just a representation of me, but is what y'all would like to see as well. So, if you like this video, you already know what to do. Give me a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't done so at this point, <laughs> please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you'll never miss a new video or a live stream. And as well, make sure you go through the description box because I have some discount codes to some of my favorite shops. I have my Amazon storefront where it has a list of the things that I use and some of my favorite planner things and even like some things that aren't planner related. So make sure you check out that description box as well. Drop comments below. You know I'm always on it and responding back or at least giving you a thumbs up and a you know kissy face or something. <laughs> but yeah, so drop me a comment below. And if this video has inspired you, why don't you go ahead and share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.